For several years, the so-called fast radio bursts posed an almost unsolvable riddle for experts. For a long time, experts were in the dark about the origin of these short bursts of radio radiation. However, a recently published study now ensures that we are a good deal closer to deciphering this galactic mystery. Find out what these fascinating radio flashes are all about, what their properties are, and what the current state of knowledge is on this exciting subject. Want to learn more about the exciting events in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space so you'll never miss one of our videos again. Be sure to give us a thumbs up to let us know that you enjoy the content of our videos. Now let's take a look at the mysterious fast radio bursts that have befuddled scientists for many years. Fast radio bursts, mysterious radio bursts from alien galaxies. When a team of scientists was busy in 2006 reanalyzing some sky surveys conducted by the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, they couldn't believe their eyes. Although the data had been available to the experts for five years, it was only now that they realized that the results showed an unusual detail. Rapid radio flashes that appeared at lightning speed and disappeared just as quickly. Similarly, fast signals had already been recorded in the study of pulsars. In contrast to the pulses emitted by the rapidly rotating neutron star, however, the ominous radio flashes do not usually occur repeatedly, but in most cases, only once. The short burst of radio radiation lasts only a few milliseconds. Within this short eruption period, the radio flashes often reach intensities of up to 30 Jansky. This is a unit of measurement that indicates the strength of radio source flux densities. Considering that the fast radio bursts occur for only a few fractions of a second, they reach a remarkable concentration. Vague conjectures posited that the astonishing radio bursts might occur approximately every 10 seconds. However, this assumption still lacks solid evidence. What is certain is that the experts were able to investigate about 25 fast radio bursts in more detail by 2017. By means of dispersion, or in other words, the direct dependence of a physical quantity on the frequency of a certain wave, the experts succeeded in deducing the approximate distance of the radio bursts. This natural physical fact is used to determine how much the corresponding radio signal is slowed down by the free electrons in space. The scientist's groundbreaking finding was that ultimately only 6% at most of the measured dispersion could be caused by the material composition of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. From this, the renowned experts concluded that the observed fast radio bursts must be up to 3.3 gigaparsecs away from us. A gigaparsec corresponds to a distance of approximately 3.26 billion light years whereby a light year can be equated with a value of approximately 6 trillion miles. In other words, this means nothing else than that the fast radio flashes have an extra galactic origin and do not originate in our home Milky Way. Theories and Attempted Explanations So while experts have been able to determine the approximate distance of the fast radio bursts, finding the origins of the short bursts of radio signals will be a much more difficult undertaking. After the existence of the radio bursts became known, the most diverse scientific theories arose, trying to decipher the backgrounds of these exciting phenomena. The thesis arose that the radio flashes might result from the fusion of two white dwarfs, extremely compact old stars. The thereby newly formed white dwarf could form a powerful magnetic pole, ultimately responsible for the unusual radio flashes. If one follows this thesis, then anywhere where fast radio bursts are located, a supernova should be detectable. In addition, some experts suggested that the fast radio bursts could be short bursts on a so-called flare star. These stars, as their name suggests, are characterized by the occurrence of flares, or in other words, short eruptions of enormous amounts of energy. The detected dispersion is therefore not due to a gigantic spatial distance, but rather caused by the plasma envelope of the flare star. Since the corresponding outbursts typically originate in the chromosphere, a lower atmospheric layer 
the radio radiation could be diffracted on its way into the infinite expanse of space and finally appear in the form of short-lived radio flashes. Another hypothesis suggests that the roots of these phenomena, despite the observed dispersion, are in fact within the Milky Way. According to this theory, the dispersion could be due to the influence of gases, which are produced, for example, during the evaporation of black holes. Probably the most exciting theory advanced for fast radio bursts looks for their origins outside of naturally occurring galactic interactions. It's theoretically conceivable that the measured signals are in reality the remnants of extraterrestrial radio signals. While all these attempts at explanations still have their raison d'etre, some scientists succeeded in the past year in reaching a milestone in the search for the origin of the fast radio bursts. According to them, it's not white dwarfs, flare stars, gases, or extraterrestrial technologies that cause the fast radio bursts, but magnetars. The Scientific Breakthrough Although hundreds of fast radio bursts have been discovered in recent years, scientists have only been able to trace a vanishingly small fraction of those phenomena back to their home galaxies. This is mainly due to the natural fact that radio bursts are known to last only a few milliseconds at a time. Thanks to the information provided by the Hubble Space Telescope, Experts were recently able to add five more fast radio bursts to this manageable list of traced radio flashes. With the help of high-resolution images of the corresponding galaxies of origin, scientists were even able to determine the approximate position of the radio signals in space. The exciting finding was that the measured radio flashes most likely originate near the spiral arms of galaxies. The corresponding regions are also known to harbor so-called magnetars. These are neutron stars that possess incomparably strong magnetic fields. These celestial bodies are thought to form when a star with an intrinsic mass of 1.4 to 3 solar masses goes supernova. While most of the detected radio bursts are one-time phenomena, there exists another, much rarer class in the field of fast radio bursts called repeaters. The fact that the corresponding bursts occurred at recurring intervals suggested that their origin must be a permanent process. For this reason, scientists have been observing compact objects, such as black holes and neutron stars, for some time, since they are suspected of being able to produce radio flashes. And as we now know, the hopes placed in these investigations were not unfounded. While the exploration of the extragalactic spiral arms already suggested that the flare-up of magnetars is accompanied by the generation of radio bursts, a scientific report appeared in the summer of 2020, which proved this phenomenon even in our home galaxy. Astronomers observed a magnetar in the Milky Way emitting a fast radio burst. This galactic event was again accompanied by bursts of high-energy gamma radiation. The fact that not all of the measured gamma ray bursts were accompanied by fast radio bursts, however, again created more questions. Nevertheless, the experts now have a promising clue that needs to be explored in greater detail in the course of future investigations. Now that mankind has come closer to the answer of where the radio bursts are generated, the question of how exactly the fast radio bursts are generated still remains an unsolved mystery. Fascinating Magnetars Indeed, the exact nature of magnetars also still raises some questions. What we do know is that these celestial bodies represent the collapsed core of a massive star. The density of magnetars is so immense that the celestial bodies have about the mass of our sun, but at the same time, a radius of only about six miles. And the background of the enormous magnetic fields of magnetars has not yet been deciphered. On the one hand, it's conceivable that the fields are a remnant of the collapsed star, or that they are generated by a superconducting, in other words, practically resistance-free material that is possibly hidden in the interior of magnetars. No matter how the imposing magnetic fields are generated, the structures are about one trillion times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. This force is even sufficient to distort the electron orbitals, or in other words, the spatial wave functions of atoms. At the same time, the powerful magnetic fields are able to accelerate particles and thus cause high-energy events. 
The corresponding phenomena can also be created, however, by magnetic disturbances, which originate from material displacements in the inside of the magnetar. These interactions are eventually reflected in the production of X-rays and gamma rays. For scientists, it's certain that the gamma rays must be in close connection with the formation of fast radio bursts. However, future research projects will investigate why the experts have not yet been able to identify a recurring pattern and why the gamma ray bursts occur without the accompaniment of radio flashes. What do you think about the exciting fast radio bursts? We're already looking forward to reading your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback in the comments. Now click on one of the images in the credits to get to more fascinating videos. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.